Hey America, guess what we're doing today? I like to see. No, I ain't having it. Remember that? Anyway, stuffed bell peppers, y'all. You know, bell pepper cups with stuffing inside. Stuffed bell peppers. That's what I'm doing now. No, I've never done that before. I've never done it, but I'm gonna try it. Got a couple recipes, uh, and I combined them and came up with my own. So we're gonna do it that way. All right, guys. Now let me uh. Talk about my support cast. All right, hold on just a second. I gotta take the Corona with the Corona J. Now the heat's on. It's hot in here. I just came back from the store with the, with the hoodie on, and I just wanted to show it off. I'm gonna take it off here in a second. So after I show you the ingredients and we stop, pow, I'll probably wear the Batman shirt or some shit like that. All right, guys. Anyway. Anyway, let's talk about support care. Obviously, you gotta have bell pepper. Please stuff bell pepper. Now, guys, obviously, I got a buttload of them, a whole lot. Twelve. Six people in my family. I will make two weeks. We probably won't eat all of it, but we have some leftovers, all right? But bell peppers. Okay? That's gonna obviously be my uh, my cups. Or that's what I'm stuffing. Now I'm gonna start out with a trinity, right? Onions, celery, and bell peppers. Then you guys are gonna be surprised where I get the bell peppers from. You know, the tops I'm gonna cut off. I'm not gonna throw them away, I'm gonna chop that up. That's gonna be part of my stuffing as well. All right, guys? From there, I got some ground beef and I got some Italian sausage. All right, I'm gonna do a 50 50 split, maybe about a pound, maybe a pound and a half of each. Okay. Rice is gonna be part of my stuffing. Sharp cheddar cheese is also gonna be part of my stuffing. The rotel, diced. Tomatoes, that's gonna be part of my stuffing as well, okay? And the Parmigiano Romano and the Hunt sauce is gonna be on top, all right, guys? Now, for my meat, I'm gonna be seasoning with some uh, kosher salt, fresh cracked black pepper, all right? I'm gonna use some adobo, because I like the flavor, and a little bit of Old Bay, I like the flavor. Now, both of these are kind of salty. I'm gonna use a little bit of celery salt, that, once again, so that's kind of four salty things, so I gotta be using moderation because I don't wanna make my food too salty. A little uh, crushed red pepper for a little bit of kick. Some garlic powder because I'm not using real garlic inside. And some cumin because it just brings a good flavor to it. I'm using a lot of parsley just because of the uh, the freshness that it brings. All of that's gonna be part of my season. All right, guys, now, that's my support cast. Let me get my prep work done and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, America, we're back. All right, prep work's done. All right, in this bowl here, it's the celery, the onions, and the bell peppers. Now, these little pieces of bell pepper, right here, came from the tops right here. All right, waste not, want not. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna blanch all 12 of these uh, uh, bell peppers in boiling water, uh, boiling salt water, right? I'm only gonna blanch them for five minutes to soften them up. So let me drop them in real quick, fast. All right, one. Them bad boys in there. Turn this down some. You guys with me on that one so far? Like y'all can answer me right there. Anyway, let's get this pushed down. In five minutes. Nice, right, let's soften them up now. While those are going, guys. I got some extra virgin olive oil and uh, it's butter about half and half, and I'm gonna uh, soften my uh, aromatics. All right, get bad boys in there. Nice. Now I'm also gonna season these bad boys up real quick, fast. All right, put some kosher salt to the kitchen. Some cracked fresh. Crack black pepper, couple good grind, that should be a little plenty. And a little bit of garlic powder, not salt, garlic powder, because I'm not putting any garlic in. All right, guys, a little bit. I just want a little bit of garlic flavor without putting garlic inside my apple bell peppers. All right, guys, get that a stir. I'm gonna let these go until they're soft, all right, guys? Let me get my bell peppers done, and I'll be right back with you guys, all right? Nice. All right, America, we're back. Now, bring up the speed. These have been bland for five minutes. My aromatics, they've been softened. We're good to go, and I'm starting my meat. I got about a pound and a quarter, about a pound of ground beef in there, and now I'm starting on my Italian sausage. I couldn't get the 
Italian sausage that comes ground like hamburger meat. So I'm gonna have to de-skin these individually. All right, so I'm just taking the casing off. Everybody see that? Just split them. Take the casing off. And I'll put the meat in like so. I'm going about a pound of uh, ground beef and a pound of mild Italian sausage. All right, guys? And I'm seasoning it up. You know, you season it up the way you want to. All right, guys, let me do one more for y'all. Cut over the casing. Take the casing off, just like so. And once again, this isn't necessary if you buy the Italian sausage that's already, uh, well, that has never been put inside of the casing, guys. Okay. I'm just gonna brown this up after I get all my meat in here. And then we're going to drain and we get into uh, the next piece. All right, guys? So I'll be back here shortly. Peace. All right, guys, back. Next step, uh, I already taken care of. My meat has been browned and I've already drained it. Okay, it's draining as we speak. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is put all of this back into my pot together. What I mean by all of this is my meat has been drained. Meat in there. Nice. And this is on medium high heat. Vegetables. Mixing them in there also. Once I did first. Nice. In there. Combine in there. Stir. Nice. And then, Rotel. All right, diced tomatoes with uh, green chilies. All right, the original. And also got the big can. Juice and all. In there. Gonna heat down a little bit. Give this a stir. Right, I'm going to bring this to temperature. I'm going to bring this to temperature and it's all nice and warm. And mix thoroughly. Then we'll get into the next right, step. Very, right, very guys. important step. All right, now we're back. Inside of my bell peppers have been blanched once again for five minutes, all right? And they cool down a little bit because I'm waiting on rice to get done in the rice cooker. And once that's done, then I can continue on uh, with my stuffing. So in the meantime, guys, you need to salt the inside of your bell peppers or they'll be really bland, every single one of them. Get a little bit of salt. Salt the inside of not too much. But you want to salt the inside of your bell peppers. All right, guys. Don't forget that you'll be hating it if you do. <laughs> All right, guys. And I'll be right back with you when the rice gets done and we get ready to finish it up the stuff and we get the stuff and put it in the oven. All right. All right, America, we back. All right. In this bowl is my complete stuff, and I didn't show it to you, but I'll explain it to you. This was the meat. And uh, 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 the meat mixture that I made before, I added in some rice, some plain old white rice, and then I also stirred in some sharp cheddar cheese. It was already shredded. You can shred it yourself and buy it in a bag. So I got this consistency here. Can y'all see that? Okay, I've already started because I didn't want to waste a lot of video time. And over here, I'm filling my bell peppers. All right, fill them all the way up to the top. Short, sweet, and neat. All right, guys, so I'm gonna continue doing this till I get them all full to where I want them. All right, and then I'll show you the capper, how to finish them off, and we'll stick them in the oven, and then the next thing you guys will see will be plating and eating. All right, guys, you with me on that one? Plating and eating. All right, so let me get this done, and I'll be right back with you. All right, America, we're back. We're finishing these bad boys off now. They're all filled. I got some Hunt's tomato sauce, not paste. Tomato sauce, I'm spooning on top as you guys can see. Let me knock these out and then freaking, uh, I don't matter if I'm almost done. I'm just gonna wait to cover them until they're all covered. Doesn't matter if they drip down the side. Almost there. Oops. Okay, just gonna keep adding tomato sauce so I get them all covered almost, to the best of my ability. Good, don't it, y'all? Yep. I know you're saying yep. Yep. You the man, Phil. That looks fantastic. <laughs> all right, guys. Now, once these are all done, I'm going to cover them with some of my cheese. That's right, yeah. Nice. All right. 
Now I'm covering these bad boys off with a little bit of Parmesan and uh, Parmesan cheese and Romano. Had a look at the can. All right, liberally. My oven's already preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna pop these bad boys in. So let me finish this up and I'll show it to you once they come out. All right guys, all set. In the oven, 350 degrees. I'm gonna let them go in there for about 15 minutes. Y'all can't see it, I don't think, can you? Look at that, that's beautiful. All right, 15 minutes until the uh, top gets kind of uh, nice and brown and golden. Take them out and they're done because everything's already cooked. I blanched the uh, bell peppers, everything that stuff is done. It's beautiful, 15 minutes from that, you guys can look at something great. All right, America, 15, 20 minutes later, 350 degree oven, I bumped it up to 400. All right, I did bump it up to 400 degree oven after about uh, about halfway through, uh, just because I thought I needed a little bit more heat. And here it comes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pat! Check that out. Look at that beautiful, y'all. Got the cheese, got the filling and all that good stuff. Now, from beginning to end, that's all you gotta do, guys. All right? It ain't hard. Might do a taste test with one of my girls. Maybe not, I'm not sure, but Bottom line is, that's the way you do it, guys. It ain't hard, it's easy. Find a recipe, do the math, figure it out, and cook yourself something. And I heard another guy on the internet, he says, never trust a skinny chef. All right, guys, anyway, that's how you do it. Peace.